What is up, everyone, and welcome back. Buddy Joshua Co. asked me to check out the band Beasts of Nod in the track Pot Roast the Rhino Man. Beasts of Nod are an unsigned intergalactic death metal band from Boston, Massachusetts. Thankfully, they have a description of what intergalactic death metal is on their Facebook page. It's called it is a subgenre of death metal music featuring linear song structures, odd time signatures, and extremely technical passages where in songs explore the characters and events of a sci-fi universe called the Land of Nod. So, technical death metal based on a cool sci-fi soundscape, unsigned death metal band from Boston. Why not? New stuff for the channel figured we'd check them out it's a 3d video i'm not gonna mess with the 3d we're just gonna watch the drummer go to work because i'm really lazy and it's gonna be kind of a pain to explore the 3d aspect of it while talking about it just i'm good at multitasking but that might be a bit too much and it might be chaotic for you guys to watch so we're just gonna focus on the drummer and let this guy be a beast it's pretty clear from looking at it here that it's being shot in their rehearsal space so clearly why they decided to do it in 3d that is a cool concept regardless let's go ahead and get into it shall we intergalactic death metal this is a first for me the band is beast of nods the track is pot roast the rhino man here we go Really killer riffs. Definitely get a very technical vibe out the gate. Tones are really rich. Like the vocals, a bit on the more a bit on the less brutal, more technical side. Dig it. That flashing light in the back might be a little too much for people with epilepsy. Good strong mellow death feeling here. Really seamless shifts here. Some of these guitar tones almost sound like keys. Really easy groove here. I thought the drums were going to be a little bit more crazy, but it's very easy to listen to for death metal. Riffs remind me a bit of earlier soil work and a lot of that's that Gothenburg mellow death. over here sure really big harmonies really like the progressive elements there in that lead work sounds like keys it might be it might be a guitar texture These riffs are stellar. They're really enjoyable. Very anthemic. They almost sound chorus-like. There's clearly a lot of guitar layering there, which is awesome. Good layering of the vote for the high and the low growls. I would like those high growls to be up just a touch more because the low growl is definitely piercing and dominating. I like that little point by the drummer there. Clearly pointing over to the lead player over here. And I'm guessing we're getting solos on the other side. 
Nope, it's the bass player over there. Alright. A lot of sweeps, but he's certainly got a good feel for it as well. Lots and lots of weedly weedly going on here. Some of these riffs almost remind me a bit of old school Bohemians. Definitely mixed in with the Swedish Melody Death influence. Some really cool effects there. Really I think it's guitar driven, but it almost sounds like keys. All right, that was Potros the Rhino Man by Beasts of Nod. Little unsigned technical or melodic death metal, or in these guys' case, intergalactic death metal from Boston, Massachusetts. And it's really solid stuff. It really is. I thought when they said technical and complicated passages, I thought we were going to get some really crazy, insane tech death. But we didn't. Which in, in a way is actually pretty good. Because the songwriting here is really solid. The riffs are very cool. There's some niftiness going on. It flows together incredibly well. The transitions are very well done. It's very pleasant to listen to for a death metal track, which isn't always the case. You know, when you when I hear death metal and I hear technical death metal, or I expect to really be bludgeoned, and I'm not. It, it's really cool, very a lot of ton of melody. The vocals might put some people off. I mean, honestly, that track is so melodic; it could have even worked with a melodic or a clean singer very versatile as far as the musicianship goes really like the riff work i like the vocals i like i like the low and the high range low range isn't incredibly dynamic in that track but it's really stout really strong and he enunciates well i do want those highs up a touch more there's a lot of stuff that sounded like keys that I think might have just been different guitar tones and textures. Really liked those textures. Really liked how the different elements that they added. There was definitely a bit of Weedly Weedly going on in the solos. You can clearly tell their guitar player is talented on a technical level. And you got a lot of sweeps, got a lot of tapping. And honestly, there were points where I feel like it was, hey, look how good I am, look how good I can solo, without necessarily soloing for the song. That said, solos were pretty good on a technical level and certainly enjoyable, but you probably could have, you probably could have honed that in a little bit more and not gone as a uh, straight wheel. And I say this from a guy who loves Shred. But these are minor gripes. It's an enjoyable track. It's a really solid track. I certainly look forward to checking these guys out a bit more. You know, I love doing new stuff on the channel. And I love getting to the unsigned stuff as well as doing the bigger stuff. And it's been a while. I think the, I've done one other band from Boston. So, really cool to get into these guys. Gentlemen, want to hear more from you. Really enjoyed it like the 3d aspect of the video as well josh thanks for this dude this was good it was enjoyable and kind of a throwback at the same time kind of a breath air breath of fresh air as far as the death metal stuff goes and certainly certainly would not complain about listening to more of them so 
What do you think? You like them? Please go check them out for me. Links will be in the description below. Thank you, guys. I love you. Thank you to my law enforcement, military, veterans, and first responders for what you guys do every day. As always, you have been awesome. I have been bald, man. See you in the next one. Be excellent to each other. Keep headbanging.